Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provided the monster, all the cells need to take this monster to rank 5, any gems I use will be reimbursed, and they also provided the food to feed this monster all the way to level 150. Alright everyone, it is time to review Maggie. Resourceful and pragmatic, Maggie won't let her family strategy befall any other monster if she can help it. Anguish, push comes to shove, Maggie is more than happy to take matters into her own hands. 2022 AMC film holding title to all rights reserved. <laughs> it's fun to do. All right, so let's take a look at her incredible traits. So, of course, at rank zero, survivor, undead hater, hardened, and immunity to fear. At rank one, a permanent immune to torture, which makes her already one of the most valuable monsters. Having immune to torture is having a huge, huge, huge advantage in the game. You're also immune to control. You cannot be denied. You cannot get hit with dots. We're not done yet. At the start of the battle, damage reduction against the enemy team. And then, at rank 5, evasion. This monster is easily a meta monster. If you can get it at rank 5. I think that's the hard part, right? Um, you see Elvira, meta monster, evasion at the start of the battle. That alone is powerful. I mean, Elvira does have a handful of skills that support... Um, re cleansing negative effects, reapplying evasion, but again, that evasion at the start of the battle is super powerful. But when you get a monster like this, that you can't apply dots to this monster, you can't control the monster, the whole team gets evasion at the start of the battle. If you're using any undead monster, you have to, you have to, have to be careful. You're in trouble. So, as far as traits goes, obviously one of the best. Let's get into the skills of this monster. So, family first, low earth damage, zero zero stamina cooldown. Southern Hospitality removes negative effects from one ally, so we have that cleansing capability. Herschel's Wisdom removes all tortures and heals an ally by 30%. So you have that support, again, if you use the king, you can remove tortures from the king, heal them as well. You useful, 30 stamina, 1 turn cooldown, not bad. Perfect Stab deals lower earth damage and removes positive effects from one enemy. I wish it would remove positive effects first, then attack, but it attacks, then cleanses. Heal Tops Hopes activates cooldowns and applies shock to an enemy, life regen to your whole entire team. So it is a denial with cooldown, you also prevent extra turns, and you life regen, so not just yourself, to the whole team. Leadership training removes negative effects from all allies, heals all allies by 50%, applies a random positive effect to all allies. Again, I, I'm comparing this monster to Elvira in the sense that you start the game off with evasion, but this, and I was like, yeah, but Elvira has cleansing, this monster can also cleanse, do a huge 50% heal, and on top of that, get a random positive buff. Awesome. Upper hand removes negative effects and applies evasion to all allies. There you go. Uh, crush restraint. It deals moderate earth damage to an enemy, disables trait on one enemy, and you give yourself an extra turn. Trait disable ET. Survivor's Tales removes negative effects and applies immunity to control and torture to the whole ally team. So negative effect cleansing and torture immunity. Gosh. Morale boost removes negative effects and applies immunity positive effect to all allies. Literally every single turn that Maggie goes, Cleanse, 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 cleanse. Ran a positive effect, immune to torture, immune to control. It is crazy. Not your fault heals an ally by 40% and life regen to that ally. Uh, cleaning the fence removes positive effects and trade disable one enemy. Deals no damage. So, no triggering seven cents, right? No triggering talents, relics, and stuff. Man, this monster has a handful. So, obviously, not much of attacking from what you can see. It's more of a supportive build. Whereas, again, you you if you if you're taking on the undead an undead monster, you have survivor to help you out. But for the most part, it's a lot of lot of support with Maggie. So what we would do, and man, I don't even know because you have trade disable, you have deny with CDA. Gosh, you have a lot going for you. You have healing. All right, let's go with. I think you have two main support skills that are valuable. You want to be able to remove negative effects. Where is it? I lost it. Remove negative effects. Torch immunity, control immunity. Trade disable, evasion. Oh man, they're both good. Again, that's. I think if you were to play this on the AI, I would do the evasion first. So, cleansing evasion? Oh gosh, I honestly want to run these three cleansing skills. Moves negative effects. And apply the positive. I want to run these. All these. Evasion. Healing by 50. Random positive effect. I guess you don't need morale boost. If you have this. 
they both do. I mean, you can have two positive effects. What do the evasion and the leadership training, which opens up the possibility for two more skills? So the question is, what are those two more skills? Hershel's Wisdom, again, it's really useful when you have a Megaton monster and you just keep healing that monster. This Maggie would be so annoying to deal against, to fight against for sure. Um, trade Disable ET, activate cooldowns, life regen to everyone. I mean, that's powerful because you can immobilize and remove positive effects from one enemy. You don't need to really. Perfect stab, I mean, you could. Ah, oh, there's so, so much. Like, what do you do with this monster? Do you trade Disable extra turn? Do you torch immunity for the whole team? I think you can do it without it just because of the, cl the cleansing capability you have. Wait. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Upper hand removes positive effects. I think it should say negative effects. We need to test this out. If it removes positive effects, that's a mistake. And I wouldn't run it. If it removes negative effects, I'm all down for that. So we got to reread that one. Or we got to use it and see how it actually works. It might just be a text error. But we'll find out right now. I'm trying to figure out what's more valuable. Removes negative effects and applies random positive effects. Uh, heals one of that by 40. Remove positive effects and trade disable. I mean, against a status caster Megaton, that's useful. Is it more useful than having an extra turn skill though? Because the extra turn skill lets you more easily cycle into these. Huh. Part of me wants to say two turn cooldown. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I think the way I would run Maggie is actually like a three speed holder and every single turn she goes she's cleansing 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 giving positive effects healing the team giving life regions to the team activating code like gosh she's she's crazy in terms of the support she can do I think definitely for the players that get her and utilize her meta monster meta meta monster she would definitely hold black moon and revive any of your fallen allies if they were to fall you're good. You're good to go with Maggie. So I think this is what I would do. And then you would just need an attacker on your side. Um, let's actually try, just out of curiosity, Velvet Tom. Since Velvet Tom relies a lot on dots against the enemy, I could do a bunch of team speed. If I have another, I don't have another team speed, but I could do a lot of team speed. Um, he wouldn't necessarily care. What else do I have? I like strength. Let me see what I can do. Uh, after damaging this guy, the worst life is above 50. Bleed? Sure, why not? We can find a way to do bleed. So I can even use Burning, Velvet Tom. Okay. So, especially if I'm utilizing the trade disable skills. Now, I think this setup, I might even do... Two, I'm like, should I do... I, I think I would do the ET trade disable. I don't know if I would need a CDA, but we'll we'll play around with this. But I would definitely want Maggie to go first. Let's try this out. Okay, fight. Well, I think we'll do a couple of battles with her, just because of how interesting and unique she is. Alright. So dots, I'm immune to torture. Um, death countdown. I could obviously cleanse it away, no problem. Um, and in fact, most positive effects... And applies evasion to all allies. I want to do that, but not yet. Because I want to see what it actually does. So let's obviously cleanse. And then have evasion can't do anything. We'll recharge. Enlightenment. Ow! Oh, this hype of Maggie, and then she gets OTK'd. Let's try again. Maybe even give her a life rune and just make your tanky two speed and a life. Because you are taking on Pierce monsters, so you got to make sure you don't get OTK'd. Alright, but I'm curious. Upper hand. Removes positive effects. Oh, from the enemy. Okay. I was like, okay. I think the way I read it is like, remove positive effects from allies. Okay, no. So it's an AoE positive effect removal with an evasion. Okay, awesome. Good to know. Uh, let's just recharge. And then we'll go through all the motions. All right, so trade disable. And then again, it's just being able to activate cooldowns. Uh, here, let's activate cooldowns on you actually. Under channeling, that's fine. Catholicon, that's fine. Mm, let's do here cooldown immunity. Trade, whoops. I mean, it's just a bunch of dots. 
Start, 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 Trade disable over here. Boom. Trade disable. Um, evasion clans positive effects. Uh, CDA. Still can activate your cooldown. CDA. Deadwood dots. Holy res. Channeling. Dots of dots here. Let's do another battle. Okay, before we get into the battle again, so removes positive effects from the enemy and gives evasion to your allies. Yeah, I think. If I was to put this monster on defense, I'd probably just run, honestly, like three of the negative effect skills from the team. So Survivor's Tales, instead of Upper Hand, Leadership Training, a must. And instead of the single CDA, I would probably put Morale Boost and have three skills that remove negative effects. And having her three speed, again, so she's always cleansing, or a single speed so she doesn't get OTK'd. And just cleansing, cleansing, cleansing. From a tagging perspective, um, it's different. You don't really get to utilize her and see her. But... Uh, I bet she, she'd she be so, so annoying to play against. So darn annoying. Um, here, like, my team already has evasion, so I don't really need the evasion skill. Um, I just go for the random positive effect, because I'm curious. Or, yeah, he's a Tom monster, or artifact. Uh, well, here, I guess I trade disable first. What is a patient? Oh. Okay. Um... In that case, yeah, let's just, I, uh, let's remove random positive effect. Let's see what I give myself. Physical protection, okay. I got cleansed away, unfortunately. Can't do anything since he has artifact. We'll recharge. Artist rock, give me to torture. All right, Maggie. Let's go with a cleansing. There we go. So cleansing came in handy. Still can't do anything. We're going to recharge. Sponge. All right, now I can trade disable. Now I can... I can cooldowns over here so you don't do anything to me. Alright, cool. And then look, just the fact that you're always applying stuff. It's artifact, or anticipation. Um, now we can just get into the crazy dots. 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 Damage. Give you a bleed as well. Dots. I think I already gave you this, but dots. Dots, damage, dots, dots, recharge, recharge, dead, almost dead, recharge, recharge, dead, <laughs> and then, oh, let's do a CDA, let's do whatever we need to do, um, let's try to see what we needed, let's, yeah, the evasion I think I could do without. So I think it would really honestly make more sense to do for sure that just for the torch immunity. And again, CDA pending. I think for offensive purposes, CDA makes sense. But on a fully defensive build, I think I would do this. Removes negative effects, negative effects. And I would probably do the non-extra turn trade disable. For a fully defensive build, I think I would do this. Now, obviously, she wouldn't be able to damage, whereas, like, an Elvira could. I mean, ultimately, up to you. Because this damage is a little trade disable. But I can see this being so darn annoying. And then you even give her, like, a life rune. Or you have mutant runes, and they're all, they all give life. Like, I can, I can see this setup on defense. Some attacker. <laughs> Elvira? What if you do both? Oof, that could be annoying. Like... Like, if you're battling 7 Sins, you literally would not have to worry about it. Yeah, but I, I can see some interesting... Some interesting, interesting setups. Uh, let's do Serpent Tex. Strength runes. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Awesome. And fight! Let's do this. Probably time is fun to use. But let's try this setup here. I think we're at a point where we're not taking on the meta monsters anymore, but I guess we'll make the most of it. So I have three cleansing skills, essentially. Oh, got hit with CDA. Does he have Phantom? He has Phantom Hall. Of course. The one time. I need you not to have Phantom. You have Phantom. Uh, let's attack you here. 
Let's do artist rock. Oh, I can't. Can't do anything. No. Let's do that. Thalicon. I think the cooldowns are high on Maggie, too. Yeah. So next turn I can clean the fence. But right now I can't do anything. Okay. Alive. To attack you. I'm trying not to kill them. One turn before death. Okay, morale boost removes negative effects, random positive effect, and saved. Medium shield, damage protection. Oh, was it pierce? Die protection? Yeah, I think it was a pierce. Um, or is it rock? Dead memories. All right, and then look, this is where we get into it. Remove negative effects, heals by fifty percent, and I'm back to full life. And even taking on like a cherub cupid or a serpent text, they would not be able to dish out enough damage to kill you. Because you're healing, you're life regening, more importantly, immune to dots. So look at that. Oh my goodness. And if you're running to speed, you're relatively fast. So they're going to have trouble. And in the meantime, you can take them out. Again, I haven't been attacking, but easily you can start taking them down um, if you needed to. But here, let's do morale boost. We got a maximum life increase. Boom. And then the minute you get that 50% heal again. Here, let's cleanse, trade disable. And bam, just like that. Nature protection as well. Boom. Recharge. And if, which it looks like he's about to, if your monster was going to die or dies, you have Black Moon to help you out. Yeah, finally killed him. Finally killed him. And I haven't been attacking you, but boom. Positive x trade, Black Moon. There you go. Killed him again. Okay, and now at that point, you're done. <laughs> I was wondering if that was physical protection. Boom. I mean, I, I think she she's going to be annoying. For anyone that actually battles her on defense, she's going to be an annoying monster to deal with. Uh, yeah, very, very annoying. All right, guys. With that being said, that is going to be it for this exclusive first look on Maggie from The Walking Dead. Any thoughts you have about her, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.